are you all? As I was saying, I'm always so excited to be out here. It's so nice, so beautiful, so glorious out here. Can you see this? Can you see this awesomeness? Can you see the beauty of my beautiful property? Oh my gosh, I just love the quiet and the calm. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm out here because I want to make a video for you guys about this pine trees. <laughs> yes, I want to make a video about the pine trees because these trees, guys, these trees are so important. And many of you are unaware of the function of the pine. And so I want to, oops, let me put my gloves on because my hands are freezing. And I'm shaking the camera. Freezing hands and I'm shaking the camera. But anyways, let me just stand by this beautiful pine tree. I have many pine trees on my property. I think I have like four or five different kinds of pine. And so I want to, I use them so often. Like I came out here today to collect some. I'm going to collect some from this tree because I want this type. And... I'm going to tell you the function because the videos that are on my channel, a lot of you are interested in plants and home remedy. And the videos that are like 10,000 10, plus on my channel are basically just from remedies and stuff that I talk about from plants, you know, that I collect here. And I show you guys how I use them. So you guys love that. So let's talk about the pine. So. You may not know, but I use this pine in my products. I make pine oils. I make pine hydrosol. I use it as tea. And this is so beneficial. Pine needles are good to fight flu and colds. And it's very excellent for your immune system. I guess many of you did not know that. Now, a good thing that you can do with this pine is you can collect the branches and then you put them down on a paper towel or on a, on a big towel or something. And then eventually after three or four days, the little pine needles are going to fall off the stem. And then you have this beautiful bunch of tiny little needles. And then you can grind them up in your coffee grinder and you can just put them in a jar. And when you're making your smoothies or if you have a cold or something, you just make a tea with it. Right? It's so, so good. I mean, if you're coughing... If you have a sore throat, you just use it. If you're like me and you have all this pine everywhere, all you have to do is just come outside and get some. But if you don't and you have to, you know, go in the forest, so you have to search for them, do that. It works very well. And it has an amazing smell. The smell is just amazing. So now let's talk about some things that you can do with this beautiful pine. So, the first thing you can do is make a hair oil. The function of the hair oil is it helps to fight fungus. It helps to fight dandruff because pine have antibacterial properties. Pine has something similar to camphor, like menthol. It has a a similar property to menthol. So when you put it on your scalp, it helps to simulate the scalp and it helps to kill the fungus because of the microbacterial properties it has in it. Pine also has some enzymes also in it that is great for internally, like inside of your intestine, which will help to counter bacteria inside of there. So you see, this tree that you buy as a Christmas tree, has many functions, many benefits, good, good things. Okay, another thing that you can use the pine for is for bad breath. If you have bad breath, sorry about that, <laughs> but it's a fact. Some people have bad breath. You can soak the pine needles, again, in some water. 
and you can use that to rinse your mouth you can make like a tea with like a tea or you can make a hydrosol with it and you can use that to rinse your mouth and it works really well you can also incorporate it grind it again the little the little needles and you can incorporate that with baking powder sorry baking soda and then you can brush your teeth with that this is excellent 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 to get rid of bad breath thank you very much i told you i have this bag here because i'm going to collect some of the pine needles when i don't talking to you guys okay i'll do that <laughs> now the next thing you can use the pine for is for like say you have like a sore on your foot or something like you get a cut and it's just not healing and stuff like that so you can make a poultice using the pine needles and turmeric you want to grind them together then you want to use just plain water and you want to moisten the turmeric and the pine uh, needles that you grind up together and then you want to put it inside a like a like a clear let me see what i should say like you could put it inside a, like a fine mesh bag and then you could put it inside like a cloth like a white cloth you can use a cheesecloth or you can use like a t-shirt material like cotton and then you place you know sit down somewhere and then you put your foot or wherever you have that sore or, <laughs> or that cut or whatever that's not healing especially if you're diabetic you know people who have diabetes they have sometimes their wounds doesn't heal so quickly you can just sit somewhere and then you can put the poultice on it and you can do that three or four times a day right thank you i'm telling you now yeah put it on the, on it like three or four times a day and you'll see that would really really help healing guys now i am sharing all these things with you because a lot of these medicinal things has been passed down to me from generation to generation and i think a lot of us has lost this knowledge and so i want to share a lot of this knowledge with you and as we share knowledge you know we will see the benefits of using natural things in our environment and we will kind of step away from most of the pharmaceutical things that we are using which always have a lot of side effects and we really don't need that in our body if we can use something natural something that is free in our environment why spend money and buy something which is going to kill us <laughs> yes which is going to cause us more problem we want to use something that goes to the root of the problem and that's it and it doesn't do anything else negatively okay let's move on to another point for these lovely pine trees another benefit that this beautiful pine tree have is as a you can use the pine needles to make a tea to wash your hair so many people have dry dull looking hair you know some people their hair is just like eh, just <laughs> just laying down it wouldn't stand up he has no energy or no power in, in the hair so if you have if you're suffering from that you can make like put the pine needles with the stem just break up some pine uh, needles from the tree and just brew a very very strong pine tea and when you brew that leave it to infuse for like 15 20 minutes and then you're going to see like at the top of the um the brew you're gonna see like oil is floating at the top and that's what you want to see and that's good just start in and you want to wash your hair like a couple of times a week or twice a week for about a month just keep doing that and thank you very much you will tell me the result your hair is gonna be beautiful it's gonna become shiny it's gonna be less oily it works like a charm i do that to my hair all the time me and my daughters we do that all the time it makes our hair so beautiful like the hair in my scalp is so so soft whenever i do that so guys try it try it what are you waiting for go find some pine trees and do all this amazing stuff that i am just telling you now the next point i'm going to make about this pine is it's good to use internally yes guys it's very good for internal use but if you're on those medications or you know i'm warning you in advance because you know doctors doesn't like when you drink things when you're taking medicine so proceed with caution okay depending on the medication that you're taking you know since i don't take medications you know i have to tell you that in advance okay but 
internally pine is good for stomach aches it is good to flush out the liver it's good for the kidneys it's good for the heart now way way back then my ancestors used pine to warm up the body like if they have shivers and stuff like that they would make a very strong pine tea with honey and they'd put some other herbs in it which i'm not going to tell you guys because you don't even know the name of it but in my country we have something we call sauce up those people in the caribbean you're going to know about that we have sauce up we have um black sage and then we have something it looks like a like a thyme but it's not it grows like uh like on the ground like it's like a, a ground cover and it has a very sweet smell and it's called shadow benny and we combine all this together with the pine and we make a very strong potent tea and then you can put some molasses in it or honey whichever one it is just raw honey or molasses and you drink that and that makes your shivers go away and it just makes you feel good it's like a tonic for the body and for the immune system so you see guys i'm sharing all my secrets with you guys okay <laughs> that's all my secrets but this is what you know back then way way back then my ancestors they did that and i want to share these things with you so let me tell you the only thing about doing this is when you make this potion you have to make it um two parts pine and one part of everything else that's how it works and then one part of the molasses or honey so it's two to one to one okay that's the formula for it that that is how it works okay and don't ask me why or how or when because i didn't create this herbal concoctions these were created um 10 years like they say <laughs> before i was even born that's the way it's done don't do it any other way okay there's a reason for it and the last thing i'm going to tell you for pine how you can use it is make a pine oil like I said, grind up the pine needles together, make a beautiful pine oil by putting inside a jar, pouring any oil of your choice over it and leave it there for two to three weeks or even six weeks. And then when you finish with that oil, you use it all over your body. If you have a sunburn or if you just have pimples on your face, you can use this oil every single day. You see my face, how clear it is? Pine oil, pine oil and rosemary mix up together. Oh, guys, this is the wonder oil, wonder oil. If you have a pimple and it just put a little bit on it, in the morning you get up, the pimple is like almost dry. I'm telling you, it walks like a charm. So that's the last thing I'm going to tell you because I can just go on and on about this beautiful pine tree and the many, many functions that it have. So... You can use it internally and you can use it externally. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. If you want me to do more videos about the pine needles, the pine tree, you know, I can do some more videos. I'm going to pick some and I'm going to take it home. So if you want to see how I am making the pine oil, and if you want to see how I'm making the pine hair wash, you can watch the next video because... When I go home, I will make that and I will film it for you guys. So you all, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching my video, taking the time to listen to what I have to say. And if you want more videos like this, let me know. And I can make lots of videos for you because I live in a haven of plants. And I'm very educated when it comes to plants in my natural environment. Because as a young child, I have been taught herbalism by my parents my grandparents and you know the old nannies around me my uncles the people before me and i took this knowledge with me and i use it every day in my life and when i came to canada i did the same thing i learned about the plants that are here there are a lot of similar plants that grows in my country also here and with a combination of those two i have gained so much knowledge and I use a lot of these plants for making skincare for me and my family and for you all who pur who purchase things from my company rustic and classic so thanks for watching guys <laughs> i know this is a very chatty video but i hope it was you know i hope you guys gained some information 
from this video. I know you did gain information, those of you who like this kind of video. So thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao, my loves. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye.